I love a good jeans jacket, but even more, I love a good jeans jacket that's tailored specifically to my Technicolor needs. Today, we're gonna tweak that jeans jacket in your closet with some embroidered Technicolor mesh, and it doesn't require any sewing. But for those of you among us who count sewing as a superpower, we're also gonna do some stitching. Let's go! This is a very cool, very simple window pane technique. You're basically going to take your mesh fabric and insert it into whatever panels on your jacket you want. When you cut that denim away, this is going to be revealed. It's kind of like an exoskeleton for your denim. You know what? It's all gonna make sense when we get into it. So let's get into it. For this process, you are going to need some glue tape, also known to civilians as hem tape, also known to sewists as the stuff that is not actually sewing, some chalk, scissors, an ironing board, and iron. And for those of us who are going to be stitching, some needles and some regular garment sewing thread, and of course, your fabric. Now, if you are not of a mind to go to a fabric store, you could be of a mind to go to a, a Target, a Walmart, a J.C. Penney. I believe J.C. Penney is now defunct now. Any store that might carry something a little extra fancy for the upcoming holidays. Just salvage from any number of articles of clothing on ready-to-wear racks. Or go to your local thrift store. You can find a lot of, oh, I bought this fancy dress and I wore it once. I need more room in my closet. Here you go, Goodwill. Plenty of options for you out there that are not a fabric store. That said, I love a fabric store. You should go if you've got one handy. We've got our jacket. She's cute. She's gonna be cuter. Let's flip her over to the back side. I'm gonna start with this center back panel. X marks the spot where we are going to dissect. So basically when we're done, this panel will have this embroidered goodness in it. It's a big area to showcase the fabric. And it's just a nice flat space to add some extra. What are you doing? Uh, jeans, what you doing? Cutting up jeans. Great minds. We're so simpatico. All right, let's go back to the inside of this jacket. Here's the center back pane where we're going to perform our surgery. I'm gonna use this glue tape. This stuff is amazing and I'll link it down below in the box. It is a double-sided glue tape. So there is the sticky part on the inside and it's got a little paper on top so you can stick it down and remove the paper to reveal double-sided stickiness. I'm gonna tape all four edges of this panel right on the seam lines of the jacket. Carefully remove that paper backing. Grab your fabric. Oh, so pretty. We're placing the right side of the mesh onto the wrong side of the jacket. This way, when you cut away the denim from the outside, the right side of the mesh is going to be revealed. In normal sewing, you would pretty much always sew right sides together. This ain't that. Wrong side of denim, right side of mesh. Okay, right side of mesh, kissing, wrong side of jacket, making sure my fabric is nice and flat against the jacket. You don't really have to worry about grain line here. And I'm gonna finger press all the way around where I put the glue tape to give it a temporary seal. Now to make this permanent, we need to blast it with some steam for a good 10 seconds on each section of the glue tape. You will melt your fabric if you do this with a hot iron without any protection. Always have protection, always. I'm using a silk organza press cloth and why yes, my press cloth is magenta, cause I'm so fancy. 
you already know. You could also use a cotton kitchen towel, one of those nice thin towels. Make sure it's 100% cotton so you are not burning your press cloth. What you're doing here is avoiding fire. Really, you're just avoiding melting. I'm so dramatic. I've got my jacket on my ironing board. I'm gonna place my press cloth down and blast each section with some steam and seriously leave your iron on each section for a good 10 seconds. I know it sounds scary. If you haven't done it before, don't worry, it works. Once you're done with one section, move on to the next bit and don't wiggle your iron. Your iron should not shimmy when you're doing this because the glue will shimmy and move all over the place. Remove that press cloth and let it sit. Don't touch it yet, let it cool. In fact, I really shouldn't be laying on it. Okay, she's cool and ready to cut. I'm gonna leave a generous allowance on all sides of this glued center panel, just in case I wanna go back in and do a few more panels, but you can cut around the glued panel if you just want to do one window pane. Let's flip her back to the outside. We've got our X marks the spot there to remind us which panel we're gonna cut away, but I'm going to top stitch around the inside perimeter of this panel. Yes, she's already glued and you could skip the sewing, but you know what? These stitches will hold your fabric down. You know, more so than glue. Cause gluing is not sewing. No, it ain't forever. I'm not using fancy top stitching denim thread for this. To be honest with you, most home sewing machines can't handle it. And I don't wanna recommend something to you guys that your machine maybe can't handle. So I'm using my regular old Guterman Mara 120 thread that I use to sew all of my garments together. It's a poly wrapped cotton, it's just a standard thread. What I'm using to make it look like top stitching is the triple stretch stitch say that five times fast most machines do come with a triple stretch stitch basically your machine is going one two three forward backward forward every time it takes a stitch and that makes it look like thicker top stitching without the thread headache a thread headache a thread ache a thread ache copywriting here we go sewing here we go I get real excited about sewing. I'm going to stitch along that glued panel using the existing line of stitching already on the jacket. I'm just going to follow along that line of stitching and use my triple stretch stitch to top stitch it down a little more permanent like. Now when you get to a corner, stop with your needle sunk and pay attention to your needle going forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, and stop so you know that you are ending at the beginning of a new stitch. Lift your presser foot, keeping your needle sunk, pivot your fabric, drop your presser foot, and keep on stitching. Okay, we've got our panel all top stitched. Now what I'm going to do, and this is a little bit of a tricky part, I'm going to take the denim and pinch it in one hand, stay holding that, flip the jacket to the inside, and pinch the mesh away so that I'm holding the mesh in this hand and the denim in this hand. And now, I'm going to take my scissors and just snip only into the denim. Mm hmm. Did not catch the mesh. Now we're just going to go in there and start to cut it away. Let's lay it flat so we can get this all cut out nice and neat. All right, again, I'm making sure that I'm only getting the denim, not the mesh. Slice on up close to one 
of your perimeter lines of top stitching and now cut about a quarter of an inch away from that line. If you didn't top stitch and you just glued it down, just be sure you're trimming away about a quarter of an inch from where you glued and think about your life choices. <laughs> okay, but I did leave myself insurance in case I want to go even more extra and do more pains. Hmm. Yeah, the answer to extra is always yes. That was good. Mm -hmm. Nice. How's it going with you? Ah, uh, you know, it's rinse, repeat. Rinse and repeat, eh? I think I might just rinse and repeat on all of these panels and just exoskeleton the whole shebang. Yeah. That sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. That yeah. sounds extra, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we meet back by the mirror in like 20 minutes for a reveal <sighs> of, of both of our <laughs> denims? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'll get him to do it, I'll get him to do it. He will show us the results of his handiwork. What? You better get cracking. Actually, I better get cracking too. Let's run through these steps again, okay? I'm gonna use this front yoke right here. Mark your panel with chalk. Then flip your jacket to the inside and tape the perimeter with your glue tape. Remove that paper backing and place the right side of your mesh on the wrong side of your jacket. Heat set your glue using your press cloth or your kitchen towel, it's all good. And we're going to top stitch for extra security and also for brownie points. each corner, keep your needle sunk, raise your presser foot, pivot your fabric, lower that foot, and keep on stitching. Make an outline all around that panel, like you're coloring in a coloring book. Pinch your mesh in one hand and your jacket in the other. Snip just the denim and cut the denim away about a quarter of an inch all the way around the interior of that panel to reveal the mesh. Admire. Then trim away the excess mesh Boom. Now rinse and repeat as desired. <laughs> um, I exoskeleton every single panel on this here guy because um because more is more and uh that's the way I like it. I also did add some bling to the back. One of the most important words of 2020. Hey, babe. Coming. You coming at any time soon? Yes. Hi. Hey. That looks great. You like it? I do. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just, no. I just oh, went. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people n it. need to. And are, are these, are these the jeans that you dyed? Th these are them? 
No, I'm just wondering. They're, they're... It's called subtle, Marcy. Oh. Not in her lexicon, people. Um. It's a gentle walk. Look at this. Oh, I it's see. It's a patina. Oh, it's like I see. I see a gentle wash of color in there. I see a. I see a gentle wash of color in there. Did you guys? I heard that! Okay, um, like, subscribe, and also... Actually more important than liking and subscribing, peace out. Emphasis on peace. Hey babe, maybe, maybe next week you can dye my jeans! Whatever. It's gluing, not sewing. No, it's not, Rob. Nope.